Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TV, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And before I start this video, um, I just need to get some things out of the way. So, if you guys are uh, usual subscribers and you guys watch my videos regularly, then you guys will notice that I'm not doing a face cam this time. So, I'm doing this just for the Lost Kingdom videos and maybe some other videos, just to see what it would be like if I didn't use a face cam. Um, if you guys like my face cam or don't like my face cam videos, then make sure you tell me in the comments below because I'd like to hear your opinions. And um, I also got some new stuff on the bottom right. But if you guys are new here, then uh, I would ask you guys to subscribe because I'm doing um, daily videos for Rise of Kingdoms. And also I am uh, uh, doing lots of Lost Kingdom videos. And because I'm in the first kingdom that got the... Um, Lost Kingdom unlocked. Uh, we I will be giving you guys information about the new things as they unlock, such as as soon as like this pass opens, I'll be able to scout it and then show you guys a report about it before any other kingdoms can. Like so, any other YouTuber like Chiskel, Roni, Shinshi, all those people, they will have information later that I will because I'll um because I am in the first Lost Kingdom. So um. Now that I have all that stuff out of the way, wait, one last thing. Also, if you guys are also regular subscribers, I've been away for two weeks because I've had finals and I've been studying like crazy, so I haven't had any time to do videos. So, um, uh, now that we have all that stuff out of the way, we are talking about the Crusader Fortress. So this is a fortress that none of the kingdoms have defeated. Uh, no one has defeated this before, and I'm going to show you guys its stats and why nobody has defeated it. Because, yeah, you can see over there, it's undefeated. Over there, undefeated. But yeah, nobody's defeated it. It's just, it's just like, impossible to, um, well, not impossible, but it's just super strong. So I got a scout report for it. I have all the stats for the, um, one, and I'm also doing other videos on these ones and, and how strong they are compared to this one. And I'm going to be going through every single skill and showing you guys why this thing is super OP. So, um, the Crusader's Fortress is right here, obviously. Um, and its first skill is, isn't is as bad as the other ones. So, as you guys n probably already know, the highest uh, direct damage factor that Commander has had at the moment is 1,700. And that's Genghis Khan's uh, first skill. So, this one is already, he has the best direct damage factor. Um, more than any other commander. Now this is probably one of the least skills because there is some crazy skills in here. So the second one, it is um, if the skill affects less than two targets, all of the damage, damage increased by 100% for the next 30 seconds. So this one I'm not, I'm kind of confused about because I'm not sure if it means um, if less than two people are hitting it at once, then it will kill them immediately. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, or like for like the next like 30 seconds it's I don't, I don't understand it but this one is a holy site damage reduction by 99 percent when guardians are present so this one is a pretty easy one to avoid because all you have to do is just not have guardians on um at when you're there so this one's easy so now we're getting into the harder ones these ones will this one is that he will summon a group of of guardians that whenever that attack nearby targets whenever holy sight garrison strength is reduced to 30%. So that means that when this garrison is reduced to 30%, a bunch of guardians that are extremely hard to uh, attack are extremely high attack and um and their damage is increased over time. This will happen when it's reduced to 30% health. So um this just pretty much means that if it's on lower health then it will bring a bunch of guardian guardians that will attack you. And I, as it says over here, that they are very strong. So um, that's one hurdle. Now the second commander skill, this guy is absolutely insane. So as you can see in the first one, direct damage factor 2,500. It's not that bad because it's about the same as this one, um, but it's a, almost like two times about um, the regular commander. Uh, direct damage factor and the second one this one isn't as bad but the last two we're going to be talking about are absolutely insane because this one it only um, heals two percent of the units whenever it skills you so this one is isn't that um, hard to get around because 
I mean, this one is easy to get around because that's only 2% healing, so it's it's not that big of a deal, but it's still kind of a, um, it's still pretty of, of annoying skill, uh, I'd say. And then this one, this one, whenever, during the battle, heals 100% of the units um, by this commander every 360 seconds. So that means that you have to complete this, um, you have to kill it before 360 seconds. So that means that you have only have 360 seconds to kill this thing. So when it has 3, 000, 3 million troops, it's going to be extremely hard to kill that in only 360 seconds because it just fully regenerates all of its health. So this is a very hard thing in order to get around. And I've heard that the closest that our kingdom has gotten to it is about getting it to 50% um, health. And that took 20 T5 players, but also I also heard that our uh, kingdom is pretty unorganized and we're not as organized as others. So I'm sure there'll be people who will be able to defeat this. It's just nobody at the moment has defeated it yet. And also the first few kingdoms aren't um, that powerful because they're mostly inactive because they've been around the longest and most people have quit the game. But then this last one increases skill damage by 15% after skills used. So if I'm not wrong, this means that after every single skill, uh, the damage of the skill is reduced by 15%. So I think this means that if it's after a skill is used, the next one will be 15% stronger, and then the next one will be 30% stronger than the first, and the next one will be 45% stronger than the first. So I think it will just keep going up as, as in in a percentage, but um, it's not very specific about what it's talking about in this, so I can't be sure. So. Um, that is all the skills, and um, that means that this is cavalry. So the, the troop that conquers cavalry is infantry. So you guys should use infantry when um, when attacking this thing. So I hope you guys will be able to attack this. And um, if you guys do, then make then uh, then uh, make sure to tell me in the comments if you guys have defeated this thing because it's pretty powerful. And nobody has done it so far. So. That would be pretty cool to see somebody with a um, defeated Crusader Fortress. And as, as and like I said in the beginning of the video, um, make sure to subscribe because I'm doing daily videos on this. And also I'm doing more videos about their skills. And I'll have it first uh, for above everybody else to get reviews on like all of these structures. So make sure to subscribe. Uh, because And also turn on the notifications because then that means that you'll get notified when... Uh, when we have more information about the new structures. So um, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, bye guys.